Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to, you know, program in the Kotlin programming language on a Mac. So basically the setup stage. If you want to do it on Linux, such as the Ubuntu distro or Windows, feel free to check out those setup videos. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to our browser. We need to download so if you Google Kotlin. I'll actually provide all the links to everything that we access, but I'll just show you the process of getting to it. So just go to kotlinlang.org. And it's a great website, it has a lot of you know learning resources. Definitely recommend checking it out. If you scroll down and we go to this little section here, there's a few different ways that we can develop for Kotlin. We can use the IntelliJ IDEA. We'll be using that. I'll explain in a second why. You can use Android Studio. This is you know under the assumption that you're gonna be making Android apps. You can use Eclipse using a plugin from the Eclipse Marketplace. And if you're a big fan of Eclipse and you, you, you want to go down that route, it's very, very popular, the Eclipse IDEs, recommend Eclipse then. And under the instructions right here, the, the other option is using, you know, compiling it yourself via the terminal or the command line. And, you know, that's perfectly fine. But the reason I'm choosing IntelliJ IDEA over one of any of the other methods is because IntelliJ is created by the company JetBrains. And JetBrains are the developers of Kotlin, the programming language that we're going to be using. For that reason, things are just going to work better and we'll get the latest updates, the latest features, all of that good stuff. Go to Instructions and just go to the Community Edition, just click that link. I'll provide a link to this directly as well. Just download the Community version. If you have access to the Ultimate version, maybe via a university, a school, or you know your company. That is fine, or you've paid for it yourself. The coding is exactly the same. Next, what you want to do while this is downloading is Google JDK and just open this up. I just need to accept the cookies. Now, just click this download button. JDK is the Java Development Kit, and this allows us to you know run, develop, and test our Java applications. Chances are you probably already got this installed if you're a developer and you had your computer for a while. But if you haven't, recommend downloading and installing this. Actually, you need it. <laughs> there, there's no recommendation, you have to do it. Okay, so you go to accept license agreement, select the version, so Mac OS, just do the DMG, which is a nice installer. I'm not going to do it because I've already downloaded and installed it before, like ages ago. But if you just select this, once that file downloads, if you just open it, just go through the setup process. It's really simple, so normal, executable. And our file's almost done in less than a minute. And then I'll show you how to install this and how to create a Kotlin based program. So just a little bit longer, and then we'll be ready to go. I was going to have a little, little drink. I have some tea right here. Let me have a sip of this goodness. Okay, so if we just open up this DMG and this will let, let us install the IntelliJ IDE and it's almost done opening. Now if we just drag this I like that IntelliJ dot drag to so it's as if it's a function that's cool. So we drag that to applications and just wait for this to you know, copy over it's just a gigabyte depending on what sort of drive you got SSD flash that sort of stuff it will you know the speed will vary okay so now what we want to do is just close that we can close this down and it will be in your we can actually eject this as well it will be in your applications folder and it was in IntelliJ, you can open it from here, 
We'll just go to Launchpad or, you know, search it here. You know, either method is fine. And just open this up. And what we'll do is create our Kotlin project. And then I'll just show you how to run it. And then we're all done. So very simple stuff, not difficult at all. Okay, if you have a configuration, some settings from a previous IntelliJ, you know, installation, feel free to import it. If I don't, so I'm just gonna click OK. I'm gonna click Confirm, Continue, and don't wanna send any statistics, so I'm gonna click Don't Send. And now just select the theme that you want. I oh, like the dark theme, it always looks all hacky and nice. Go to Next Key Maps. So you can you know, use a few different ones. I'll say I've never used IDEA before. I say select this one. It's just, you know, it's more adapted to Mac OS X. Click next launch settings. We can leave that default plugin. So you can start removing or disabling these. But for now, let's just leave it as it is. Click next feature plugins. Again, you can install some extra stuff for now we'll just leave it as it is start using intellij id e e a and click create new project go to java go to project sdk select you know the version here and this is basically your you know your, your jdk version go to kotlin and from here you click next you just save it somewhere so I'm gonna to go to desktop save it there and we don't want to save it directly on the desktop because it will just create the files there so we want to do I'm gonna say setup um, yeah I'll, I'll call it I'll call it Kotlin why not project name you can change that if you want to but I'll leave that as it is click finish it does not exist it will be created that's fine that's that's exactly what we want and it's created it here so we got some files in here but before we can actually run it i'm just going to open this out we need to right click src which is a source directory go to new kotlin file class and just name your file main for example you might be thinking why did we create a java project it's because kotlin is compiled on the java compiler that is the reason why and the code is you know you can be you can use the code you can use a bit of java and kotlin but kotlin and java really cool stuff and what i'm going to do before i start coding go to preferences go to editor this is just an optional step mainly for these videos just so it's easier for you to see what i'm doing so i'm going to say 24 that is pretty big now so you'll be at this sort of file size and you know this should be readable on a mobile device so you just type in fun, which is the keyword for a function. You put main, which is the main entry point of the application. All applications will need this function. How simple or how complex it is is up to you. Probably keep it simple, but you all need this. Open close bracket, put args, colon, array, string, and curly braces. I'll actually, I'm going to have separate videos covering all of these individual features, so feel free to check them out. All you need to know is a function called main, the main entry point of the application. We've got some arguments. It's an array of string values, and these are passed in when the application, you know, your application, not IntelliJ, is first run. And these are optional, you know, parameters and, you know, command line based parameters, which I will show you in a separate video how to you know, manipulate and use. So if I just put print, and then quotation marks, hello world, and if I save that now, we're ready to run. You might be thinking, why am I using semicolon? You, it says redundant semicolon, and you can you know, remove it as well. The main reason I'm using it many languages like c sharp java c c plus plus php javascript use semicolons and if the language doesn't enforce semicolons but it allows you to use them i recommend using them because it's a good habit to get into because many languages require them so now we just need to go to run click run click main kt which is our file and now 
this will run the application and we'll get the output down here which is just printing at the moment printing a line directly to the console okay so there we go hello world has been run or the code has that's it simple stuff if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video